Hey everybody, how we doing today? I'm here at the Boys Town Visitor Center. We're about to go take a little tour here. Um, I sort of wanted to get over here yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling great after working two days over at the golf course. Which sort of brings me to something I've been wanting to talk about very, very briefly before we get to the video stuff. Um, and it's some advice that the nurse that was in charge of my case at the cardiac rehab center said to me. He said, Bob, it's okay to not be okay. And what he meant by that, for those of us that are recovering from heart surgery or some other surgery or just had deal with chronic pain on a daily basis, what he was saying is that pain can be exhausting. And some days you just have to take a break. You don't want to let it get the best of you so that you stop doing things altogether and you want to keep trying to push to get healthier as you go. But some days you just have to take a break. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. Now I'm going to flip the camera around here and take a picture of this uh, signboard out front. So this is the world's largest ball of stamps. It was created in the early 1950s. Father Flanagan, who started Boys Town, himself was a stamp collector. He always wanted the boys to be active with a hobby or a sport, something to keep them busy and out of trouble. And so he gave them some of his own collection to get started with a stamp club, which they did. You can see some pictures on the wall of them doing that. And this was just one of the silly hobbies that followed. One of the boys started with a golf ball and they kept adding stamps around it. And so now Ripley's Believe It or Not has featured it as the world's largest ball of stamps. It is 600 pounds. Their estimate is 4,655,000 stamps, give or take. We don't add to it anymore. We just leave it as is. And the back mural was made out of stamps by one of our alumni. Here we are going into the Hall of History, and then when we get done in here, we're going to walk across the street and take a look at the Garden of the Bible. And then we'll see how much energy I have left. Father Flanagan's actual home is just around the corner from where we're at. If I don't have enough energy, we'll come back and do that the next time it's open. But we'll see how it goes. Let's go into the Hall of History.
Well, I hope you all uh, enjoyed our first trip over to Boys Town. As you can see, there's enough here to make at least another video, if not two or three more. Um, but that's all I've got time for for today. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe and leave me a comment so I can get back to you. 
If there's something you want me to go back and take a closer look at, be sure and let me know because I will do that. This is not very far from my house. You guys have a great day.